So suppose that, you know, here we are, there's people all around, and we wanted to communicate in a decentralized way. It's a pretty daunting affair, right? So maybe I start to tell you something, which is actually very similar to, for instance, what happens in Ethereum with block propagation. Maybe I'm a node and I start telling all the nodes, and eventually you want like two-thirds of the people in here to know. Question, how long is it going to take? And you can only talk to one person at a time. You can't just stand up there and yell and have everybody listen and hear you at once. Especially if everyone's doing that. Right? Especially if not everyone's doing that, especially with this music. <laughs> with this lovely electronic music. That's right. So basically what would happen is you would have to have a balance between you need to talk to enough people that, you know, the message that propagates. propagate. But if too many people talk to too many people, you get a lot of repeats. And the reason repeats are a problem is, you know, you have bandwidth. Imagine that bandwidth is basically you can only talk to one person at a time. And it turns out if you're talking to one person at a time and too many people talking to too many people, you're gonna end up with a lot of repeats. Yeah. And those repeats are really, really bad as time goes on. You know, very quickly they sort of swamp the network. So uh, you're kind of exponential, I guess. Yeah. Yes, very good. It's actually even worse than exponential. Okay. So if you're mathematically minded, you know, it's not even e to the x. Yeah. It's the x is between zero and one and it's x over one minus x. Okay. Plot that at home. <laughs> but you will see that she goes to infinity. Yeah. Like that, wow. exactly, very good. So now, if instead you start sending equations around. So imagine I have five unknowns, let's call them x1 through x5. Okay. And I need to figure it out. I just need five unknowns, I need five equations. So now everybody's getting equations and then making equations out of the equations that you get. Okay. And then mixing them together. It turns out, hence the name, it's optimum to do that. It's as good as if you had like a controller that was scheduling everybody, directing everybody, seeing everybody that goes on. So that's what we do. 